Hi class, I've had some questions in office hours as to how difficult or what level are our problems on say midterms or at the final. So what I am making today in this video, we will work one page from the final spring 2024. And in particular, these questions are relevant to our very next quiz, which is quiz four. Okay, well, first question, we have three parts, differentiate each function, do not simplify. You see we have a natural log, e to the x, we have a trig function, but then we have many rules here, product rule, rule quotient rule, chain rule, uh, things like this. Wonderful. Okay, and A, you see I have one function times another. So fundamentally, letter A is a product rule. F prime of x, we have first times. Well, when I go to differentiate this function, ln x to the fifth power, this is chain rule. So we have five to the four. There's the derivative of the outside, evaluated at the inside. Then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Derivative of natural log is one over x. Now ask yourself, am I finished? Absolutely not. This was first derivative of the second. Then we put a plus and we write down the second and then times the derivative of the first minus three x to the minus four. This is my final answer. We do not need to simplify our derivatives. Next one, g of x. Fundamentally, I see one function divided by another. This will be quotient rule. Okay, g prime of x, we have denominator, which is the square root, 2x plus nine times derivative of the numerator. Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Therefore, the derivative of five e to the x is five e to the x. <laughs> Very nice. We have denominator, derivative of the numerator, and then we put a minus, numerator. Now, the derivative of the denominator, let's come to the side. I will do this in red and then I might erase it. But if I go to differentiate the square root, 2x plus 9, this will be chain rule, but we need to write this as a power. Square root is a one-half power. Now I can do the chain rule. So I have derivative of the outside, like this, evaluated at the inside, times derivative of the inside function, which is two. So all of this is the derivative of the denominator. Okay. Let's maybe I'll make this smaller and we can save it. I'm just recopying the derivative of the denominator and then all over. Well, when you square the square root, we just get 2x plus 9 like this. So here is letter B. Okay, letter C. The easiest way to approach the derivative of h of x is first to use that e to the ln of cosine to the fourth of x is just cosine to the fourth of x, which we know is like this, right? Cosine x to the fourth power. So this is my function. So much easier to use this property about e to the x and ln x, their inverse relationship. Use that before you differentiate. So now I just have chain rule. We have derivative of the outside, evaluated at the inside, and then times, well, the derivative of cosine is minus sine. This was number four on the spring 2024 final exam. 
Now, number five, this is also quite relevant to quiz four. We have implicit differentiation. So we have a curve defined by sine of pi y plus x squared, y squared equals one. First, we want to find dy dx. Well, okay, first step in calculating dy dx, we differentiate both the left-hand side and the right-hand side of our equation with respect to x, thinking about y as a function of x. So, derivative of sine is cosine. Okay, we would have pi y. Now, times, this is chain rule here, the derivative of pi y with respect to x, this would be pi times dy dx. So I have differentiated the first term, put a plus. Well, how do we differentiate x squared, y squared? Fundamentally, I see a product. So this will be product rule. We have first, Derivative of the second is 2y dy dx plus the second. Derivative of the first is 2x. Now here, do not multiply by dy dx on this term because I did not differentiate a y. What I differentiated was x squared. Okay, then we put an equal sign. The derivative of one is zero. Okay. I'm trying to solve for dy dx here. So I'm going to move this term to the right-hand side of the equation, and then I will factor out dy dx from these two terms. So we will have dy dx times, we have pi cosine pi y plus two x squared y and this equals minus 2xy squared. Okay, I've said this in class, but this is very important when you're doing implicit differentiation. Every step needs to be an equation, which means at every step you have a left-hand side, you have a right-hand side, and you have an equal sign. And you notice I have this here, left-hand side, right-hand side, equals sign. Wonderful. Well, my last step in solving for dy dx is to divide, to divide by all of this. So dy dx is minus 2xy squared divided by, we have pi cosine pi y plus 2x squared y. Okay, we have dy dx, and we see x's and y's in this expression. This is to be expected. Now we have a second part here. We want the slope of the tangent line to the curve at the point 1 comma 1. So we take this and we evaluate when x equals 1 and y equals 1. So I get minus 2, 1 times 1, over pi, cosine pi, um, plus 2. Now, this is an answer, but we wouldn't leave our answer like this because we need to evaluate the cosine of pi. So pi, if you think about the unit circle, is out here, where the cosine is minus 1. So my final answer is minus 2 over 2 minus pi. Okay, well this is the end of this page from our final exam. All of these questions are relevant to our quiz 4. It gives us some extra practice. Thank you so much class.